be okay with my camera? Yeah. Are you gonna be okay? Is that toxic? I'm gonna definitely need something to plug it up. Can you get me? I'm gonna need my safety glasses. So these are the hoses that had the coolant in them that we clamped and cut. These clamps here are what we used on the other side. As you can see, they attach to these pipes. These pipes carry the coolant to the engine and then these hoses carry the coolant to the heaters. So what we did was remove them from the heaters. That's where they went into the bus through that hole there. So we disconnected that while clamping the hoses so the coolant didn't spill out everywhere, although we did get a lot on ourselves. Um, and then we re repurposed these clamps, the original clamps. So basically this hose makes one continuous loop, whereas it used to go up into the bus to the heaters. And this is kind of a temporary solution with a copper elbow um, over here connecting these. All right, so we're gonna do the heaters day three or five or something like that. Uh, we have the right splicer, it's called hose barb splicer. The right size, it's one inch. Um, and then I also got these galvanized tube straps. We're gonna use those to hold the hoses up in place. It's gonna screw them up into the bottom of the floor. Um, hoping that this is the last time we have to touch the heaters. Hoping, <laughs> cross your fingers. <laughs> So we've gone through a couple different um, options. We tried copper elbows. They weren't big enough uh, or long enough for the hoses to kind of clamp onto properly. So that was kind of our short fix. Uh, we thought about just deleting the hoses altogether, um, but come to find out the pipe that runs the coolant up to the front of the bus does not have any threads in it. So I couldn't plug those with like a cast iron thre um, threaded plug. Um, so here we are with the third option, which is going to be the last option, with the splicer and some galvanized, what do we call these? Tube straps. Galvanized tube straps, which I'm covering in duct tape so that they don't cut the hose. And Emily's giving me the thumbs up because that's exactly what she wanted me to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, perfect. Take six. Alright, <laughs> So, the goal today not to get coolant all over myself or anything else. Let's hope we can achieve that goal. This is what we ended up with. There is a plastic piece. It's called a splicer. And then we used the original clamps. And it is, I mean, sturdy, secure. So now it's just kind of a continuous loop of coolant coming from over there, which those are the pipes that take the coolant to the engine. Does nobody any harm, it's just coolant that uh, goes nowhere in particular, just on a fun little reroute. I think we're just going to have to grind them off. <laughs>